stuck. What's up, everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing catch and cook. We're going to be meeting up with Bush from Fish On Channel. He's already out there at the spot, probably crushing the fish right now. I got out here late as usual, but before we start fishing, I just want to thank KBO for uh, sending another electric bike. This bike is pretty special. It weighs 57 pounds, probably the lightest electric bike they offer. You can fold this bike in half by unlocking this uh, latch right here, just like that. We're not going to fold it up because it's already good to go. Got another latch right up here to fold the, uh, the handle. It's got 20 inch fat tires, uh, dual front suspension so you can go off-roading. It's got seven speed Shimano gear, super smooth. It's got a nice little LCD screen, tells you how fast you're going and what um, assist you're at. It's got three levels of assist. As you can see, I already put miles on this bike. I've taken this bike to uh, downtown Clearwater. We went from Largo to downtown Clearwater. Round trip was like 19 miles and I still had like two bars of battery life left. So it's pretty solid. The range on this bike is 55 miles and you can go on 30 miles with just pure electric. It's got a nice rack back here. You can put a basket back there with rod holders. You can rig it up however you want it. So a lot of the features on this electric bike is very similar to the other e-bikes I have at home. But what sets this um, electric bike apart from the others is the weight. Uh, 57 pounds and you're able to fold this thing in half. It's very compact. It makes it easy to transport. You can throw it in a car if you don't have a truck. If you're in the market for an electric bike, definitely check out the KBO Flip. Use the code Thani to get discount. Link's gonna be down in the description box below. Just putting my waders on right now. I am determined to catch fish today. Definitely gonna have to go in the water if the bite isn't good um, from shore. So that's why I brought these, uh, these waders. Got a good feeling we're gonna get on them today. Do this. This is wintertime fishing. Gotta have waders. Water is super cold. Definitely invest in a good pair of waders. That's what we're gonna be throwing right there. That's the money bait. Hopefully we get some keeper fish. Um, like I said, we are gonna be cooking up whatever we catch today. Hopefully Bush caught some decent fish. We're gonna bring the GoPro as well. Got the bag. Get the GoPro. Gosh, so convenient having this electric bike. Just met up with Bush. Uh, Bush has been fishing for a couple of hours. No, not hours, like 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah. Any bites? Just two fish all this time I've been here. Just a sheep said. A good sheep said. It was like 15 inch. 15? Uh, yeah. We could have kept him. I thought, but since we are doing flounder cook. today, I'm like, hey, we need to catch a keeper flounder. I'm and down. I'm around. down to cook up whatever. So whatever we can get, catch I, really. That, I, I mean, didn't know that. So let's do that then. Yeah. I mean, right. our target is still flounder, though. We want. Yeah, we want the catch. keeper flounder, yeah. but I mean, we'll take sheep's whatever, head, right? trout, redfish. We'll take redfish today. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's do it, man. All right, let's do it. Let's I'm gonna go. be using this uh, salty net shrimp by Z-Man. And I'm using the voodoo shrimp, so it's kind of competition, guys. See yeah, we'll see, we'll see which one catches more fish. We are moving to a new spot, coming further down the lagoon here. Still looking for that keeper flounder, trout, whatever we can get our hands on. Water is a little high right now, so I don't know. I don't know where they're gonna be, but we're gonna keep searching. We'll get those keeper, uh, keeper fish for the grill. Let's go down here. Bush is over there. Any bites, Bush? Bush said he uh, he caught a trout. We're gonna park this bike right here. Oh, there you go. Bush is on. Good fish. Smaller trout. Yeah, I thought that was a targeted. Bush has got smaller trout. Oh man, look at that. We'll take it though. Yeah. On the voodoo. Who's getting there, man? Voodoo for the. I think it's the fourth fish today. Small, but hey. Yeah. A catch is a catch. A catch you know, is a catch. So this deep hole right here is... Okay, there might be some flounder in here. It might be. 
So we Actually, have both. we're gonna fish both the deep hole. You see the sandbar, then we'll fish the clear water. Okay. I've I've uh, I've caught flounder. Um, I've caught a a gag grouper right oh, here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. they're here. I got a good good 18, 19 inch or one time. Gag? Yeah. That's pretty big. For this area, yeah, flat. That is pretty big. Couple feet of water. Gotta love throwing artificial lures, man. One of my favorite. You know, once once I start getting into you know throwing artificial lures, I just keep throwing artificial lures for so, days. So easy, right? Yeah. Same with like live bait, though. You know, once I start fishing with live bait, I'll fish with live bait yeah. for like days. It depends the season, I'll say. Yeah. You know, it's the season that live bait. You can be live bait. And it's oh, that was a good bite. There you go. Winter time, I'll say uh, plastics are the best. Plastics, yeah, and the, like smaller, smaller. smaller yeah. uh, shrimp and stuff yeah. smaller bait i didn't even check the tide when i came out here i mean some days i'm just you know what i'm just gonna I go check tides when i'm I just gonna go and just start fishing and you'd yeah. be surprised you know you that day might be like one of your best fishing days oh yeah i, I i've been here on the crazy low tide that you'll think like nothing is there then yeah man like non-stop bite there's a fish he's oh, swimming yeah. towards me oh it looks like a flounder <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> the like. smallest it's a flounder. Oh, yeah, smallest, flounder. Smallest flounder I've ever caught here. Ooh. Look at that, guys. Redfish, little rat red. They got to be 18 inches. He's, he's small. We'll let him go. Let's put him back in the water. Let's see it. Look at his tail. He's right here still. So cool. My first time actually fishing this location here. Pretty sick, sick little spot here, man. I think we just we just keep casting bush like to the center. It looks really really deep in the center. Oh yeah. Yep. Drops off right here. Yeah. It's good. We should go, let's go on the right side first and then we'll, we'll work our way back to this, this side. Might be a big flounder here. Oh. Oh yeah. Look like redfish, dude. Oh, another good bite there, Bush. Bunch of mullet right in front of us. And these, these redfish are mixed in with the mullet. You know, sometimes these redfish, they'll follow the school of mullet. Sheep's head too, they'll follow like a school of sheep head. I've seen it out on the flats. There it is. Ooh, he followed it for sure. He followed, no, it looked like a rat red, bro. Yeah. Look at that, dude. Smoked it. Look at that, guys. <laughs> That's so sick. Comes right off. Salty net shrimp. Might be catching cooked redfish if we can catch one bigger. Let's put them back in the water. Try to get on more. See if we can get a keeper redfish. They gotta be 18 inches. We're actually gonna keep redfish today if we do catch a, a keeper. Who knows, there might be, you know, ones the same size as the one I caught, but we'll see. Usually these guys school up. You know, if you catch ones that size, most likely the majority of the redfish are gonna be about that size. But like I said, just never know. Might get a trout, might get a flounder. That's why I love saltwater fishing so much because you just never know what you're gonna hook up to. Might be a grouper. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy definitely followed the, the bait. Cause he hit it, I'm gonna say like 20 feet out. And I got the first, I mean, I got the first initial bite like way out there. And then I hooked him up right here, 20 feet away from me. Come on. Oh, oh, good one. There it is. Whacking him, Bush. A lot of fun, man. Oh yeah. 
Looks like they're schooled up. Another red. Oh yeah, baby. This net shrimp is a little salty. He's getting bigger. <laughs> oh. I don't know, he might be a keeper, Bush. They gotta be 18 inches. I'll say 16, 17. 17? Yeah. yeah. We try to get ones bigger. Yeah, but look at that. Salty net shrimp right on the corner of the mouth. So cool, man. Comes right off. Let's put him back in the water. See ya. So you can get a keeper on the salty net shrimp. This is the uh, the root beer gold slaying it. A lot of them out there. I think they're all redfish. I'm literally just casting it on on top of them right now. So just casting it out there, letting it sink, and then just you know giving it a twitch. Just one twitch every like three seconds, that's all you really need to do. You don't need to work it to death. Basically, you just wanna drag it on the bottom, really. There we go, that's another bite there. Bunch of bait fish out here, that's why these these uh, rat baits are out here, they're feeding on these little mullet. Lots of finger mullet. A lot of bigger mullet too, so there might be some bigger, bigger fish, but bigger predator fish around here. Let's go try, let's cast it to the right. Bush, cast to the right a little bit. There you go. Might be some out there. Oh, there we go. Trout. Yeah. No, a little snook. No way. Look at this snook, dude. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Little guy, cheese. It's like the size of a needlefish. <laughs> oh, that was a good fish. What was it? I don't know. Keep, keep, keep throwing. I, I think it's a sheephead. Oh, there we go. What is this here? Maybe a trout? Oh, pinfish. Pinfish, good sized pinfish. A lot of bait fish, man. There's a lot of shrimp out here too. That's why these predator fish are here. Oh, good fish. Oh, that's a snook. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a snook. Oh yeah, baby. Getting variety. Killing it, isn't it? <laughs> Love this little lure, man. Oh, he's he smoked it. Yeah, I can I can feel him rubbing, rubbing my leader. Hold on, guy. Oh no. Yeah. He grabbed your lure too. Oh man. Chafed it. That's all right. I got more in the bag. That's all right. Using a twenty pound. Yeah. Man, that snook. It's crazy how like they can, you know, one that size, you you wouldn't think, you wouldn't think they would they would, you know, chafe you, but it happens. All right, guys. Um, I mean we caught a few smaller fish over here, redfish, snook, and then the bite just shut off completely. So we're gonna make our way back to the first spot where where we uh, started fishing. Still looking for that keeper fish to uh, cook up for lunch. Hopefully we um, land a big red fish or a uh, big flounder, it'd be nice. Let's go. This thing is so solid and it's pretty fast too. Goes up to like 20 miles per hour. Plenty fast for me. All right, back to the spot where we uh, first started fishing. Let's see if we can find some keeper, keeper fish over here. Oh, good fish. Good fish, man, he smoked it. 
He smoked it. I don't know what it is, Bush. No, it's, it, it feels like a redfish. I think we're gonna be eating good. We're gonna be eating good. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a grouper. Oh my gosh, look at that grouper, guys. Smoked the Ned. Look at that. He's out of season though, otherwise he would eat good. Well, he's undersized anyways, but still, man, that's solid. That's so cool. Wow. He's not all that big. Look at him. Nice. <laughs> Guy, I, I was not expecting to catch that'll, this guy here. That'll be the keeper. keeper so cool. He's gonna thrash like crazy. I knew it. <laughs> oh, fish. A little trout. Small. These trout are small today, Bush. I don't know, man. We need to find keeper trout. I mean, if we're gonna catch trout, I wouldn't mind catch, catching a 18 incher. That would feed us. Keeper, anything. So we're gonna go to the next spot maybe again. Let's give this spot what? Half an hour? Yeah. Let's go to our arrowhead because deeper waters might be bigger trout. I I do catch big trout. Yeah, we we might switch it up here soon. We'll give this spot another like like Bush said. Uh, 30 minutes and then we'll go to a different spot try to catch our keeper fish for the grill. Anything. I'm starting to get hungry, man Anything, Anything. The grouper would have been perfect, but you know grouper is not in season and it's it's way too small We really need to find fish that we can uh, keep right at a new spot now Looking for the reds. There's a school of mullet out there So that's where we're gonna make our, our way to Hopefully the redfish are hanging around the school of mullet. Still gonna throw this shrimp around. Uh, we might switch to a paddle tail. We'll see. Looks like Bush has got a decent redfish over there. It might be a keeper, Bush. It's close to me. It might be. I'm hungry, man. Yeah. 18. They gotta be 18 inches. Yep. Let's see. 17. Ah, come on. 17. <laughs> we're gonna go hungry today, guys. No, we're gonna we're gonna, gonna get, get the big one, right? Yeah, we'll get the bigger one. All right. That's a good go. one, though. That's a Look good at his one. tail. Nice. Blue, right? Hopefully he's a keeper. Let's see. Ooh, he might be right on 18. You're right, Bush. Might be on 18, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking. All right. I mean, see. he might be right on, man. He, he might be going on the grill. Let's go. 18's right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 17 and uh, a half. 17 and, and a half. half. Come on. Getting close? Getting close, yeah. Let's not oh, give oh, up. Rat red. Yeah. We're going to switch up the game plan and um, go for sheep's head. Cause I am starving. Hopefully we catch some sheep sheep's head. We probably have a better chance of catching sheep's head than any other fish at this point. Um, it's getting later in the day, so we need to make it happen. Catch even one big sheep, we're gonna cook him. Yeah, this is gonna be our last spot right here. Yeah. Actually, we might check out the bridge if this spot does not produce, but yeah. thanks to Wesley for giving us a bucket, a cooler full of oh, filler yeah. crab. Yeah. Appreciate it, brother. We're gonna put them to use. Hopefully the sheep's heads are here. Um, last resort, sheep's head. I mean, couldn't catch keeper fish at all this morning. Everything was just under, so. It is what it is. We're out here. Hopefully they're chewing. There we go. I am not seeing them at all. Just a whole bunch of snook right now. And a bunch of gnats. So, there's that. A bunch of gnats. Oh, we get a bite? No way. First, 
First cast? What? Is he a keeper? I don't know. Think so? Yeah. I don't know, Bush. Uh, Our luck today, man. Anything that's keeper today. Hey, they're there. Let's he's see. he's probably eleven inches. Yeah. Ah, not quite keeper. Al almost there though. He's getting close. Come on, guys. Right he's definitely know, definitely know close. Okay, we're gonna put this guy back, but hopefully there are more of them out there. Watch this one. Caught him. Oh yeah, let's put another bait on. Oh, they're chewing, boys. Yeah, they're here. They're here. They are here, guys. There's gotta be some bigger ones. I think we yeah, found a... These are always big. I think we found a uh, good school. Look, here's how I'm hooking them. From the bottom and then out on a side like that. That way he's still alive. I think they're huge. Now I think I just had one. Yeah? How I lose They're schooling up. It looked like a keeper too. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, we're not seeing these fish, man. They're just stacked up and I'm just watching my line because I have a lot of slack on my line right now. We're free lining. And once that line starts going, boy, you better set that hook. Come on, guys. All on fat sheep. From flounder I think they're, cook, they're, they're gonna be sheep that catch them. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't keep, we couldn't catch any flounder today. Actually, you did hook on two small ones. Yeah, small. You know where other spot has them, Bush? Yeah. Gandhi. Uh, Gandhi, which part of Gandhi? Because, uh, the left side the of Gandhi. Go, the one on the deep water or by the rocks there? That by one the there. rocks on the yeah. left. Big ones there too, dude. Yeah, we can, since we have the crabby. We can go there if they, if they don't bite in like five minutes. Cause I know, I know they're there. He's big, he's big. He's big. He's big. He's big. He's big. Some big fish right here, guys. It's like 18 inches, bro. It's the yeah. one we're looking for. Don't lose it. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, that's a nice one. Woo! Yes! That is that a is stud. Big. Last spot of the day. Hey, check it out. I think it might be a 18 inches. Check him out. Dude, he might be bigger than 18. Look at that. That's gonna feed us right there. Let me see. Holy smoke. That's, that might be your PB, bro. No, my PB is 21. Oh, yeah, I forgot you got that. In, uh, in Bradenton, 21 inches. Okay. But this guy is probably, this year, though, probably. Let's let's give it a measure. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm this pretty is sure crazy. for this year that's your PB, though. <laughs> Last spot of the day, too, man. man Comes right off. Gets, Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Let's measure him. I'll be back. I'm guessing he's he's 19, 18, 19. Hold on, I can't really. He's got to be flat. He's got to be flat. Let's I told you, Bush, there's some giants here, man. Let's see. Is zero 18. 18? Yeah, 18 and a half, actually. Half. Yeah, yeah, tail ends right here. 18 and a half inches. Almost 19. That is a tank, dude. That's bad. Heck yeah, we are gonna cook them tomorrow it's getting later today we're gonna have, we're gonna have to um, call it a day bush has got to drive 30 minutes 40 minutes home yeah that's so, not a problem but it's getting late and dark we can't film no more yeah can't really film in um in the dark so we're gonna catch more fish tomorrow hopefully and then uh we'll cook them up for uh for lunch hopefully we get more fish tomorrow i just got back out here gonna be meeting up with bush Early in the morning, um, Bush is getting filler crabs, mangrove crabs right now. I'm gonna try for trout, see if I can get some more fish for the grill. Um, I'm seeing a lot of birds diving uh, right out here to my, my left. So I'm gonna go down there, see if there's any, any trout around. Usually this time of year, there are a lot of trout at this spot. But if there, if there aren't any trout, then we'll switch up the game plan and um, 
try to look for more crabs and go for sheep's head. All right, here we go. Hopefully, there's some trout here. You know, I used to come out here and catch a lot of trout, but a lot has changed in the past couple of years. Hopefully, they're still around. I mean, the birds were diving to my left here earlier. So there are bait fish here, which means that there might be some, uh, some trout around here. There's a fish. Ooh. What is this here? Better be a big trout, please. He might be... Oh, he's small. <laughs> he felt like he was pretty big, man. Look at him. Hold on, guy. Hold on. Hold on, dude. Hold on, hold on. One second. Little dude. It's good to see them around, though. Go big. There's another one. Smaller trout. Yeah, juvenile. Little baby. Little baby trout. Hold on, dude. Hold on, one second, one second. This comes right off. Pretty cool. See you, guy. Ooh. What's up, what's up? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Did you get any? I caught two small trout. Nice. They're small, but we're gonna go um, on the other side of the bridge and, and look for, for crabs. Crabs, right? I yeah. have some uh, clams, so we're gonna try those. The sheep's heads are stacked up right oh, there at the, at the rocks. Let's do the clams. Then. You're trying you to wanna, Yeah, or you want to go and see if we get some crabs? Yeah, let's go. Let's go and see if we can get some okay. uh, crabs. We just need like a dozen. Yeah. See that? There you go. Okay, but it's only this this area here. Right? It's a nice one. Let's go. I think we should be good. Yeah, let's get some more in a way we can check that. This tree might have some too here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's small bush. Oh, big one, right? Big one, big one, big one. Dude, that was another 18 incher. He was super close swimming around here, bush. Come on. He was on the move. He was moving. That was a big, big fish. That was a really big fish. I'm just going to send this out there. Ah, man, there's so many big fish here. Yeah, I'm just going to send it out there and let it... Let it marinate. <laughs> Let it marinate. There's the big one. That's the big one I saw. That's the big one I saw, Bush. Finally got him to bite. Oh my god. Let's go. Yes. I got him. 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 Yeah, I got him. I got him. Oof. Oof. Yes, sir, baby. That's nice. Yes, sir. That's right there. <laughs> that, I think we're good. What do you think, Bush? That's another, another, I told you, this is the guy I was, I was, yeah, I was put, seeing. Put him on site and let's try another five meters and we're good. All right. Dude, Dude, look at this guy. Another, another stud. He's 18 for sure. Oh, yeah. He, this guy is definitely going on the grill. Nice. No doubt about it. No doubt about that, Bush. Let me hold him up. Look at that. That is a tank. Yeah, I think he's close to 18. He's probably 17 and a half, 18. I can measure him. I told you, Bush. I was seeing him earlier, man. Yeah. He couldn't resist the mangrove crab. Good old mangrove crab. The only mangrove crab in there I took. <laughs> it's nice, I guess. Wow. 
Where is he? He's he's 18. 18. He's right on 18. The other one was 18 and a half. Two big ones you got here. Back to back. Yeah, back to back, man. That's insane. Good deal. He's gonna eat good on the grill, man. I think we're good, Bush. Yeah? Yeah? What sure. do you think? We try to catch one more. Yeah, let's try and I wanna try the, the clams. The clams, all right. We'll try to catch one more for the grill. But man, look at that. Yeah, let's catch one more. Yeah. We'll use up the bait, you know, we'll, we'll spend like another hour. Yeah, since it's early. Yeah, still early. Wow, another solid sheep's head. Can't believe it. Look at that, guys. That is a freaking tank, man. Oh yeah. Let's put them in the box. So we ran out of crabs, um, but we do have a whole bunch of mussels left. So what you do with these guys? Bush is gonna show us how to hook these mussels. Really easy. Yeah, just in the back here, that's the softest part of them. You go in, but very slow because sometimes you can crack them and you have to come up on the other side, just like that. Look at that. So now you just crack the front of it, let the juice. Oh yeah. Just like that. Hold it up again. Here. Just like that right there. That looks really good, man. Yeah, all the juice now and that meat is exposed, so they can very, go Very, very effective. Let's go. Let's see if we can get the people. I'm gonna try it. I mean, I've fished with these guys in the past, but uh, usually I fish along the, the pillars. But right now, we're just gonna throw them okay, straight out one, along baby. the rocks. If the big ones see it, they will crush it. Right. Man, there's a lot of them now. Oh yeah? Bush said there's a lot of them out there right now. Well, we, we, we kind of chummed them up, didn't we? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, we did. I mean, after all these, after all the baits we uh, we tossed out there. So just go in from this side. Gotta have super sharp hook. Oh, I cracked it. That's all right, that still work. Just like that. I sent it way out there. Far? Yeah. I'll try far again. Oh, On the muscle though. The muscle. Oh. Hey, if the small one are feeding, the big ones are gonna, yes. they, they gotta be feeding too. You got the, your first fish was a small fish, that one's yeah. giant. Yeah, exactly. Let's we should chum up some more. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a bunch of freaking sheep right here to the left. On these rocks, let's see if we can get one to get one to bite here. All right, bro. Big one, another big one, Bush. That was on the crab though. On the fish? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. That's another nice one, dude. Oh, that's a fat one. That's another fat one. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I'm not losing this guy. Honey got their number. Oh yeah, another one. Big sheep incoming. Another 16, 17, right? Probably 17, this one here. This one's probably 17. We can eat good today. Dude, he smoked that crab. Fat. Yeah. Nice. It's that time of year. I see you again. What's that? I see you again. You see me again? <laughs> you remember I, I took a picture with you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Weedon Island Pier. Man, you're good. Thank you. Yesterday, um, I went to the bridge before yeah. the park. Yeah. The day before yesterday, man, it was crazy. You drop it, by the way, I caught a 12, 12, C12. Wow. Yeah, that's... Good deal, man. But before that one, I caught only like a four fish. Can I take a picture? Sure. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Let's put this guy in the box. There you go, Bush. You getting them? Yeah, look at this. Look at this guy. Look how Bush big is getting he is. more bait. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice bait there. Yeah, that's a solid Couple. one. You can cast a mile with that bait. Oh, yeah. That's a giant, man. So, yeah, we're going to collect salmon. Just try to get something on the on the pier there. Oh, yeah. look at the branch. Go and check the branch. Can you can you zoom on that branch? Oh, yeah, look at look that. Look at that. They're getting scared. Yeah, they can they can hear us. That branch, right there. Wow, they heard you. They're fast. Oh, nice. Both of them. Nice. <laughs> Got both of them. Look at it. Look at it. That's a double kill. Look, at, look how big they are. They were hiding behind that branch. All nice. right. Nice. Let's see for some more. Yeah, it's bait everywhere, guys. You know, you, you just have to look. You just have to spot them. Oh yeah, nice bush. Ow, 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 those big. You got you? Yeah, look at the claw. That's big. It's trying to get me. Woo! Two of them. Two of them in the same time. Nice. We're looking for this bait all morning, huh? And this bait is just right here. All right, we just pulled up to the spot. We're gonna go clean up the um. Sheep's head. Slow the truck. Oh, let's go. Time to go clean up these uh, big old fat sheeps. All right, here we go. We're gonna play up this big girl right here. Nice. 18 and a half inches. Look at that guy. It's a fat one. That one right there is probably gonna cover up the whole grill. So this is the PB for you this year, right? For this so season. So far, yeah. Yeah. For this season, so yeah. far. Mine is 18 and a half too. Biggest. So what kind of tide this year for the PB? Yours 18 and a half too? Yeah, 18 and a half. Oh yeah. Let's go. We leave the, the cleaning to the master. You know, whenever I start filming, there's always a plane coming by, which is nice. Audio is probably pretty nice right now, but Anyways, I'm gonna cut behind the pectoral fin, just like that. I just sharpened this knife, so this knife cuts like butter. I mean, this is a boning knife. It's not an actual filleting knife, but I like to use it for sheep's head because it's so tough. I mean, I can cut through the, uh, the rib cage, bust through the rib cage, no problem at all with this knife. Let's try this method here. Let's lift up the, the skin right there. Slide that knife in and then just run it along the bones that way. A little bit easier. Oh yeah. Same deal with the uh, the other side, run it down the dorsal fin. Just like that. Slide that knife in, run the knife along the bones. Oh, looking good. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at all the meat on it, man. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Let's bust it all the way through. Good deal. It's a fat fillet bush. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna eat good. Yeah, we're gonna cut. Um, We've been starving for two days. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna just cut a lot uh, around the, the rib cage. And we're gonna leave them the same way these because we're doing them in half shell, right? Yeah. Nice. Cut behind the pectoral fin. I mean, you could go go in the um, scales, lift that up, bust that through, and then go down. So that way you don't deal with the scales, right? Yeah. Either way, it still works. You still got to cut through the scales. You know what I mean? I need a good knife. Dexter makes some some pretty good knives, man, for cheap too. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm using now. But it's been like a two year. I have the oh, knife a year and have two. You definitely got to sharpen it. Yeah, I need to get the stone that you told me. You don't even need the stone. Get one of those ten dollars sharpeners from. I have those. Outfitter. Yeah, I have those. Works really good. That's what I use. I don't even mess with the stone. I mean, I. I see people are using some stone and they are sharp, man. Yeah. They're just. They make the knife like brand new. Man, those are fat fillets. What's that? Are just doing one or or uh, two of them? Oh, uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do all of it. Oh, okay. Let's 
Yeah, guys, we started this video yesterday, right around what, 8 a.m.? Yeah, went all over the place. I mean, you couldn't catch any keeper fish out there. Nice, look at that. Ended up at uh, the last spot yesterday and caught this that's you know, a giant. big old sheep. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a fat one right there. That's it's a, a tur tournament winner, right? 18 yeah. and a half, two of them, you win right the tournament. Off this pier here, right? <laughs> Not quite. See ya. Got them elsewhere. Nice. People drop a lot of fillets there. Cool. Look at the meat, though. Look at that. Clean fillets. We're going to cut the bones off, the pin bones. Get all those pin bones off. You could leave the, the pin bones on if you want to. And but just pick, right? Just pick the meat and leave them there. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to get them. With the bloodline. Yeah, I cut a big chunk of them. I take all the bloodline off. Yeah. I think right there is good. Yeah. Got little bones right here, but it's all right. We're just gonna leave that. It's fine. Look at that again. Ready. Let's put them in the cooler for now. Same with this one here. Pin bones off. Oh yeah. It's a fat filet bush. Oh yeah. We're gonna eat good. We're gonna forget about yesterday. Yesterday was today such a was, grind. Today was quick. Funny actually. Go. I got two small ones, but Tani slayed two big ones. Oh yeah. Look at that. We just finished up cleaning the filets. Yeah, they look good. Let me take a look. Oh yeah. Ready? Look at those filets, man. White meat. Let's go. Looking good. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's we go start up the grill. Let's go. Pump. Let's eat some good quality fish. Yeah, it's gonna taste so good. So how man. we gonna I'm how we gonna hungry. make them today? Oh, we're gonna make them on the half shell. Half shell. You know how you know how they make um, red fish on the half shell? Yeah. Well, we're doing sheep's head on the half shell. And you've never had sheep's head on a half shell, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't. Have you had red, uh, red fish though? I think I did have, I did try red fish on a yeah. half shell, but not sheep's head. Because you might be blown away, Bush, on how good it's going to taste. Let's see, we're going to try. Uh, we got fuller, which, full of, which, uh, which cooler, full of which sheep's head. Which seasoning you said you're going to put? Uh, Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. A little bit of chili powder. Have we done that before? No, we have, um, I, ha I have you personally, did. but time, yeah. I don't think you have. Let's go, let's try. All right, just got here. You ready? Oh yeah, nice area here, right? Yeah, it's perfect. Catch them here, cook them here, why not? Yeah, back to where we uh, first caught those giants. Those are pretty big sheep's head, man. Just oh, literally yeah. right here, Can't insane. Wait. Can't wait, so we're gonna cook them right here, guys. Oh yeah, let's get set up and uh, Get cooking. Let's go. Yep, that's the fire starter right there. All right. The tumbleweed. Let's go. I like it better than the gasoline, but I mean, either way works. Let's do it. There you go. I like the little, one that the uh, self, self, whatever, igniting pellets. You ever try those? No, I, I, uh, well, those are very easy to start. Really? Yeah, yeah. you do. You, you never just, heard of them. Yeah, you just start them. Yeah, try to find the one I'm talking about. You're gonna like them. This should be good though, Bush. With the window. It's all right. It's gonna be money. It's going. All right, let's season up the fish, guys. Let's grab the fillets. There's one there. Nice. It's a big one. Big fillet, man. They're all big. Grill is almost ready. Come on. Come yeah, on I, gotta, I gotta hurry up. Bush is getting hungry, he says. Here's another one. Let's start off with the uh, olive oil. I like to use olive oil or avocado oil. A little bit healthier option. Just drizzle a little bit on the fillets. Leave that there for now and then... Actually, let's uh, rub the olive oil in. So the seasoning fillets. sticks pretty good, right? Yeah. Nice. Here's the yeah, uh, which one was the this? Cajun. This the is the Cajun, uh, right? This is the Cajun from Pepper Palace, 
$15 seasoning that my girlfriend put me on. I love it though. Should be good. It's expensive. Yeah, it's really good, man. You'll like it. I don't know. We'll see, Bush. See what you think of this. That look good. Close that up. Good too. Smoked paprika. A little bit of that on this one too. The grill is like so ready. Oh yeah. Uh, chili powder. Should we open the pellets around or, or not yet? One second, please. And then we're gonna finish it off with just black pepper. Looks good. I never tried chips at this way, so let's see. Oh yeah. Nicely coated. Look at that, baby. Nice. Looking real good. So the charcoal is definitely ready. Come take a look. Bush is going to spread the, uh, the charcoal evenly. That's pretty good right there. Let's throw this guy on top. It's not on you. There you go. All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We are good to go. Let's lay the... Uh, this in there. I'm just gonna. Ah, it's. Here, I got you. You got it? Yeah, I got you. My hand's holding the, I'm holding the camera. There you go. Perfect, Bush. There That's perfect. Go. Right there. All right. Yes, sir. All right. We're gonna cover it for, I wanna say 15, 15 minutes or so around there. Yeah, I, I like them all well done. I Me mean, too. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do that then. 15 will be good. 15. Around 15, there. 16 minutes. Yeah. They'll be ready. Can't wait. I'm so stoked. I'm hungry too. It's uh it's noon right now, so this will be a good lunch. We've been we've been starving for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we couldn't catch keeper fish to save our lives. Uh, but uh we came out here to this spot, caught that big old sheep's head. He's in the grill right now, but we're gonna it's try gonna again good. though for flounder. We're gonna try again. We're gonna do a catch clean and cook on flounder for sure. Oh yeah. We are definitely gonna try to get keeper flounder. I have not caught a keeper flounder in like three years, man. Since they closed them. Since they yeah, before before COVID. Oh yeah. Look at look at Bush. He's shown, he can't leave he can't leave that, that rod alone, man. <laughs> Had to come out here and uh and jig while the uh the sheep's head are being cooked. Bad trout too. Oh yeah. Woo. Look at that. Should we throw him on the grill? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 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 put him we'll put that guy back. Yeah. Got plenty, plenty of food. Hold him up real quick. It's a nice trout right there, Bush. Oh yeah. What'd you get him on, man? On uh DOA this time. DOA shrimp. Classic. My favorite. Classic shrimp. Not my favorite color, but my favorite lure to use, you know? Yeah. Nice trout. Absolutely. Bush couldn't keep the uh, keep the rod down. He, yeah, he couldn't man. leave the rod down, man. Hey, till Had to make a few casts while the, the, uh, the fish cooks, are being cooked. We're going to catch some, so it's all catch and release, by the way. So. Yeah. Let's put him back. Nice. Good job. Let's catch another one. How about let's check the uh, the oh, grill. <laughs> let's check the grill, man. <laughs> let's see. Let's check it out. See what it looks like. Oh man! Look at that. It looks good already. What do you yeah. think? Like a, like five more minutes? Yeah, I'll say five more minutes. Look at those beautiful fillets, guys. <laughs> Sheep's head on half shell. Sheep's head on the half shell. Chef Bonnie did it again. Mmm, looking real good. Those those fillets, man. They're thick. Look at that. It's like a inch and a half thick fillets right there so since they're big fillets i'll say let's give them a good five to seven minutes yeah okay? that sounds good cover it back up oh yeah it's gonna be good okay. i think it's ready they're ready right yeah okay we're gonna take them out Where should let's do it this? uh you can just lay on the oh, ground okay. doesn't matter i can hold it for you no I. Didn't. we have ken here from california joining us yeah. one of texas. the subscribers texas right? texas dollars texas i drove 70 hours Get here. To get here right. to fish because I, I, uh, you I watch our channels. Watch your channels. Cool. Yeah, that was so cool, and I caught a lot of fish that. today. Look at that. Okay, 
Oh, so that's yeah, yours. look at that. There's our first filet right there. Nice. We're gonna have Ken, one of the subscribers. He's gonna try the fish too. Let's see what you're gonna say. See, I wanna see his yeah. reaction. Yeah, that would be the first time I would taste the sheep head. Oh yeah, your first yeah, time having sheep head? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Here, I got the three this time. Okay, so you have an idea of, of, of what they'll taste like? No, I have no idea. No, you you will. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, All it just right. comes right off the skin, man. All right, Ken. There All right. Go. Ken the goes first. first. Time. Our subscribers. Is My first time? The first. He, he's having the honor of testing the sheep at first. Tasted really, really good. You like it? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Super good. You ready, Tom? Wow. <laughs> awesome. I already know it's gonna be good, Bush. You gotta try it. You've never had sheep's head on the half shell. No. So Here, you, right you, you go ahead. I want I wanna see you. Alright, my you turn think. now. My turn, my turn. Sheep's head on the half shell on a lot of seasoning I don't even remember, but which one was the main again? The Cajun one, right? Cajun, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Mmm. What do you think? Nice. Mmm, <laughs> chewy, spicy. Mmm, just nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that guy. I mean, we caught these fish this morning. Mmm. Very fresh. Yeah. yeah super Can't fresh. get any fresher than that. I mean, we had and, one from yesterday, but and I saw still you fresh. catch that fish. Yeah. And I took did. a picture with it. Right. <laughs> My turn, guys. Two, three weeks. Oh my gosh, that meat just like. All right, let's see what Tony So gonna flaky. Say. Look at that. It's good, right? Dude, so good. Wow. Got a little bone there, but. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's super good. I mean, it's cooked perfectly. Oh, yeah. Mm. Definitely got to try this out, man. So good. That is going to be a wrap for us, oh, man. Yeah. What an amazing trip. I mean, yeah. we went all over the place, but caught plenty of fish. I mean, we didn't, we didn't catch the keeper fish. Uh, uh, Not the uh, targeted the grill. species, yeah. But yeah, no keeper flounders, but... Um, ended up making it work, right? You yeah. got those big sheep set? And yeah, now. at the end of the day too, man, right at the sunset. Definitely check out uh, Bush's channel. The link's gonna be down in the description box below, Fish On channel. Also check out KBO Bikes. Uh, link's gonna be down in the description box below. Use the code THANI to get discount. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There will be more videos like this one here. There's gonna be a lot more Catch and Cook oh, um, yeah. this year for sure. Hope you guys like it. If you guys did, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.